Hey everyone, it's Luke Renault. Welcome to my first Photoshop tutorial. I will be showing you how to make this image. It's a very low res file version. I took this a few months ago with my brother, Ethan. Standing in a river. Alright. So, hit W for the quick select tool, select the, the whole stream of water as best you can. With quick select tool, the best way to get the results you want is with just clicking, not, you know, painting. Now I use the quick select tool and the lasso tool together for when the quick select tool doesn't quite know exactly what I want I use the lasso tool to come in and correct it like so and we're just going to select this whole splash down here with the lasso tool go in at 100%, look at our selection, make sure everything is good. Now you hold um, Alt Option on a Mac to get that minus sign on your cursor to take away from your selection and then you hold shift to add to your selection alright I think that's good enough for me copy it, paste it on this other photo I took of Ethan. Now I chose to use this stream because um, I had him pour it in front of him. There were a few times we poured it next to him and it just it wouldn't look as real because I wanted to be able to see his body through the stream there. And we're gonna transform the stream to make it fit better on his against his hood right click select warp now we can just move it down like this and just all of it a little bit And we will command J for a copy of this stream so that if we mess up we can go back and then hit, hit O for my burn tool and just burn that down a little bit at the top. But before I do all that, honestly, I should command J for a duplicate. So I can duplicate the background layer. We're just gonna use a black brush and just paint Ethan's face away. Inside of the hood only. Oops. Like this. Like that, so we're gonna empty hood 
And there's that water again. Still needs a lot of blending. Using my black brush on it up here. And we'll create a layer mask on it so that we can get rid of it up here, that hard edge. squeeze it in there a little more looks okay and down here we have that hard line from the selection we're going to use our layer mask painting on it with our brush tool to get rid of that Blending it in. edge on the edge of this waterfall too just with a soft brush because the water is out of focus so obviously it wouldn't have this hard edge to it oops and there's probably a better way to do this by feathering the selection before you select it, but this way I can be super accurate. is that his pants don't really line up right here so I'm just going to make them line up a little better there we go Now the other thing that we're going to do is add a sky up here to this whiteness. Let me go find a sky real quick. Alright, here's our sky. We're just going to drag it into this photo, drop it on top. Make sure it's covering all of the whiteness up there. We'll throw it below our water layer though. And what we're going to do is change the blend mode to darken so that only the darkest parts of it show up. And we really need to get rid of that mountain. We're going to make a layer mask. And just do this real quick. Clean up over there and over there. Now we're going to add a curves layer and hold Alt down and click to attach it to the cloud layer. I'm going to change that to luminosity blend mode and we're going to make it much brighter. Since it's on dark and it's only going to interact with the white sky and not the trees or anything because that means it's only showing up where it's darker. 
than what's behind it. One other thing we're going to do to it is add a blur to the clouds since they really would be out of focus just like the trees are. Something like this. thing I always do to my photos as far as color and stuff so I add a black and white layer make the blend mode soft light kind of brings the blacks out a lot and the whites a lot of contrast brings the saturation down a little bit I'll bring the opacity of that down a little 2 to 70 Below that, actually, I usually do a hue saturation, blend mode on color, bring the saturation down a little bit. That way up here I can add a curves layer, make it blend mode to color. And we will just mess around with the colors a little bit. I'm just messing with the individual red, green, and blue on the uh, curves layer. And we'll add another curves layer. Blend mode is luminosity. Just so we can adjust these tones a little more. And that's about all there is to it. This is actually a fairly simple edit, only basically three layers if you include the clouds. Alright, thanks for watching. Keep an eye out for more tutorials in the near future.